Hi, today we're going to learn how to set up a FTP server on Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. And this is a step-by-step -step guide to show how to set up FTP server on Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 without any third-party software tools. And I'm going to follow this in demonstration. First, open the control panel. Next, find the program and features icon. And on the left, there is a turn windows features on or off. Click on that. It shows you this pop-up. And on this pop-up, look for the IS. And on the Internet Information Service, we see here the FET. Check on the FET extension uh, civility. And then go to World Wide Web Services. And I'm going to check all of this like this certain features only but for the sake of experiment I would like to click on all this and we will see what will happen and this is all part of the uh, World Wide Web features of Windows 8.1 alright even here ASP uh, CGI and then clicking on everything it looks like we have it then click OK installing all the features let's just wait and see what will happen in here and it's done closing and now let's go back to the uh, control panel. Now, find the administrative tools and let's see and check if the ISS service uh, is installed. And here it is. Internet Information Services IIS Manager. Let's open this shortcut. Alright, come on. Now it's open. Internet Information Services Manager. Do you want to get started with Microsoft Web Platform to stay connected with latest web platform components? Well, this is just only experiment. I'll click No in here. Now you can see in here, it gives me my computer name. And there are sites. And if you look at it, the site is only the default website. Now, where is the FET? Now, point to the site folder. Right click. Voila. There you go. Add FTP site. Now, clicking on that. Now, here you go. You have given the option through this form with a site information. Okay, let's just call it FTP now click on for the path for the sake of experiment I would like to create a folder and clicking on the fat I have here several drives but I would like to choose my system drive C Windows 8.1 and then creating a folder I will call it FTP oops there you go FTP click OK now I have the path in here. Click next. And then of course the IP address. Uh, since my computer is running by, by this IP address, I'm going to choose that. I have some VMware running inside. That's why it gives me other uh, IP addresses here. But I would like to choose this IP address. And then for the sake of experiments, 
no security for this time no SSL and uh, it says here start FTT site automatically well and the port is 21 of course port 21 is for file transfer protocol now click next well there are two choices for authentication basic and anonymous anonymous which requires no password at all no username but I would like to choose basic and then allow access to select I would like to use uh, all users so those that are using uh, this computer uh, can access it and I would like to have the permission read that means to say you can download you can open but you cannot change files now if I want to change file upload I would like to check on write for the sake of experiments again I'm going to have this permission read and write now click Phoenix right there there you go we have done already but we're going to check whether it works or not yes now here is my Windows Explorer going to drive C and this was my folder for FTP now I'm going to create a folder here and I would like to name it test and under this folder I'm going to create another file text it is again test and then opening on it and I would like to write one two three and then closing and save now I'm going to close now and let's see if from this local PC we can access there are two ways to access your file through FET one is through a Windows Explorer and you can use your web browser now what was the IP address again a while ago of my local PC now first of all type FTP colon double forward slash and my IP address is 10.0.0.1 .0 .0 20 there you go voila here is the folder and what is inside test and now clicking on it one two three now I'm going to close this one and then bring out another uh, Windows Explorer now we're going to access it in here FTP there you go and then it prompts me for a username and password my name is already there and then why I'm going to use my there you go I have here the file and of course I'm going to open this one but I don't have a a, a uh, program to open for to uh, through uh, FTP but I can open this through uh, Windows Explorer well shall I say uh, I believe we are okay now with this but how about if I'm going to access this file on another computer what will happen to it let's see I'm going to connect to my uh, domain controller and this is it 10 point uh, 0 0.0.11 and let's see there you go I have it here I'm going to connect Joe and then logging in to it and let's see what will happen in here all right there you go uh, I'm going to open a uh, a folder inside and I'm, I choose to uh, see if I could connect from here and for the sake of experiment right now I'm going to show you something at this time I cannot connect to it because of firewall 
Asia. What was the IP address at 10.5? Point point? Point 0.0, point 20. Let's see. Well, it just keep on searching. Now, I'm going to remove this since it's not successful. I'm going to show you how to make it successful. Now, we have to open this port 21 to pass through to our firewall. Clicking on the firewall and for the sake of experiment, well, we're going to do this. Turn Windows firewall on and off. And restore default or advanced setting. Let's click on the advanced setting. Now, on the advanced setting, there is an inbound rule and there is outbound rule. At this time, we're going to click an inbound rule and create new in here. And this is a port opening. And then the, op the port should be 21. Clicking next and uh, don't click all ports or else you will be invaded just open only one port and it is 21 now it is TCP and UPD selection I choose this time TCP now click here and then allow the connection this includes connections that are protected by IPsec as well as those are not. Alright. Click next and it is in domain, private and public. This includes internet public. Now clicking and it is FTP TCP uh, port uh, 21. Alright. And that's the name of the port on this firewall. Clicking on this and let's see the properties of it. There you go. Now, for the sake of uh, of uh, experiments, protocol type, I would like to choose any right now, and let's see what will happen in it. There you go. Now going back to my server. This is my other computer running. I, I just accessed it a while ago as you can see and it wasn't successful now uh, the IP address FTP colon uh, forward slash 10.0.20 clicking on it yes there you go log on us my username is Joe and my password is not is there you go I have it already here my file and there you go opening it well what does it say well it is here now can I can I uh, uh, create a folder inside this let's see there I can create a new folder another uh, hmm test folder there you go well it looks like we are successful at this time by setting up how to set up a FTP server on Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 the question is can access can I access my file over the internet with another computer or maybe the other side of the globe yes you can but this will be another topic this includes your internet firewall it's not only your firewall is in local PC or within your network but it is within your internet firewall thank you folks may God bless everyone